What is up guys, welcome back to another GeekyWatt video and what I'm waving frantically in my right hand is Samsung's brand new X5. What can only be described as the holy grail of portable SSD speeds, this is a 2 gigabyte a second $800 prices are subject to change and up to date links will be in the description. Portable SSD, just how good is their new flashy design X5 though? Let's take a look and find out. On paper, this Samsung X5 uh, SSD is a really attractive proposition. They've really upped it in the looks department uh, with a matte, bold red design at the bottom and uh, glossy, metallic, uh, dark grey, sort of like glittery kind of design at the top. With the USB-C interface that runs on the Thunderbolt 3 platform, which theoretically gives 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth, this thing is nothing short of insane. This particular model here is a one terabyte capacity, though 500 gigs and two terabyte models are also available as well for lower and quite a bit higher prices uh, respectively. During my testing, I was able to edit 4K raw files in real time uh, on my laptop, a Dell XPS 15, and on the latest generation uh, MacBook Pros with those four USB-C ports seamlessly. This could also work well for like a Razer Blade or one of Asus's top-end uh, gaming laptops, which features that Thunderbolt 3 connectivity. The Thunderbolt 3 connection here, in my opinion, is both the biggest uh, kind of upside and biggest downside to this device and something you do need to be aware of as a consumer. Now the USB-C connector on here does look fairly standard, though it isn't quite as standard as it first appears. This drive is clearly marketed as a Thunderbolt 3 drive and therefore must be plugged into a Thunderbolt compatible device. Try and plug this into a Pixel 2 XL for example, or one of the latest Intel or AMD motherboards in a Type-C USB 3 Gen 2 port, it is not going to work. You won't get any uh, interaction between the device and your system in any shape or form whatsoever. I know that can be slightly confusing, but this thing needs to be used with a USB-C Thunderbolt port rather than a USB-C uh, USB 3 port. And that's purely because of the bandwidth uh, that's needed to, su to supplement, sorry, this drive's maximum speed. Uh, with speeds in excess of two uh, gigabytes per second, around 2.3 sequential read and write advertised, the 10 gigabit USB 3 Type-C Gen 2 standard simply is not fast enough. Unfortunately, I was only able to test 1.5 to 1.6 gigabytes per second uh, of throughput, but even that is very impressive. And I imagine that comes down uh, to the driver optimizations uh, not being quite there on my Dell XPS 15 and not being quite there on this pre-release uh, Samsung X5 sample. All in all though, if speed is what you're after, uh, and you know you're going to be using exclusively Thunderbolt 3 devices, this thing's really impressive. It's small, compact, and durable, and the USB-C interface is strong, reversible, and convenient. All in all, this thing has really, really impressed me, and the kind of gamer-esque but expensive design definitely suits this thing well. If you don't quite need the speed this offers, it probably is worth stepping down to say the Samsung T3, which is going to use the USB 3 standard, so therefore is more compatible and quite a piece cheaper than this seven eight hundred dollar one terabyte model. That being said, if it's speed you're after, I will link this thing in the description below for different retailers and regions. And as always, we'll see you in the next Geek What video.